Engraving is simply the removal of metal following certain patterns using a graver, a steel graver. You can engrave on many different metals, including harder metals like steel and white gold. Now that you have prepared your graver in the previous video, uh, before we get started, we may need to make sure that the vid your graver is sharpened. If it's not sharpened yet, but you already have the desired angle, you can use a snap-on disc to simply sharpen that very cutting tip or an Arkansas stone. We test the sharpness on the graver by trying to push onto your nail, your fingernail. If the graver slips onto your fingernail, it's not sharpened, but if it wants to catch, it's ready. The next important thing is to polish that underside, the belly of the graver. This is what will leave you the, uh, the, the cutting, the engraved piece. So it has to be really smooth and polished to leave a smooth pass onto your metal, onto the engraving. Otherwise you'll have a jagged line. You can do this using polishing paper and a bit of oil, and you can also do this using a Sara wheel, or even a stone if it's really, really smooth, a polishing stone. And now we want to hold the piece that we are engraving into setter cement. Uh, you can try thermoplastic, but it doesn't hold quite as well. Uh, some people I've seen also use hot glue, so hot glue from a hot glue gun, and they uh, attach the piece onto a wooden dowel or a wooden board. I like setter cement. And of course you can practice on different metals. It will behave quite differently if you're uh, engraving onto copper, brass, or silver. All of these three metals are quite different, so you should practice on all to really get the feeling and uh, the flow for each of them. You want to put the handle in your palm and then you want to close your fingers, your index and thumb, close to the cutting part of your graver so you have really good control. That's why we cut our graver to the size of our hand. If you have a little cut part on your handle, then you know exactly where your belly is. Uh, safety for engraving is to never ever engrave towards a body part. This is because when you're engraving, you slip a lot. When you're learning and you're practicing, you're slipping a lot and it's very easy to slip onto your hand, onto your finger, uh, so you never ever ever have a body part exposed directly in front of your graver. Always try and see if you were to slip, would you hit anything? The other thing to think about is to, to push metal and to cut metal, you need a considerable amount of force. Uh, you want to get into the habit of having both of your arms pushing against each other. Now the arm that's holding the piece is not actually moving, but you must still push against it as you are pushing with the cutting hand. So you are pushing your two hands towards each other. And this is to keep your body from developing unevenness and only pushing from one side, especially if you're doing this for many hours in a row. And now we're finally getting ready to cut. The trick in engraving is to find the angle that will work for you. If you are, your angle is too low, you will slip and not engrave. And if you're going too deep, too sharp of an angle, you will be stuck deep into the metal and your graver will not glide and cut metal. So take your time, practice, and find what angle works for that perfect line. So start with creating a straight line, try an angle and push metal and you should see a little bead developing that you can remove with the graver, be careful not to cut yourself, and check your sharpness of the graver often. So you're pushing at that right angle. Of course you can use a graver ball to hold your work if you have one. And you can try next some curved lines. So curved lines are a little bit harder because you have to manage the right angle without slipping and also you have to curve. So you will take your 
engraving hand and you will do the curving motion and you can do the curving motion with the hand that's holding so those balls glide really well and can rotate really well but if you're holding on to the piece you can also do that rotating motion if using a ball you can still have your piece into setter cement and wood and you can simply clamp that so that's just another option for you Make sure you don't put setter cement on the side so the wood is clear and you can clamp this firmly. And as with everything and especially engraving, the most important thing is practice. Practice on different metals and practice many, 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 many hours to, be, to become proficient.